Steps 1 and 2. State the claim and the opposite of the claim, and then identify the null and the alternative hypothesis. Now, identify the claim to be tested and express it in symbolic form. We're using P to denote the probability of selecting an internet user utilizing two-factor authentication. The claim that most internet users utilize two-factor authentication can be expressed in the uh, symbolic form as P is greater than 0 0.5. Give the symbolic form that must be true when the original claim is false. If the original claim of P is greater than 0 0.5 is false, then P, which is less than or equal to 0 0.5, must be true, which is the opposite of the claim. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we note the claim, again, is the probability, or I'm not probably, excuse me, the proportion is greater than 0 0.5. Now, the opposite would then be that the proportion is less than or equal to 5. Now remember, the equality is always going to be in the null, and then this is going to be the alternative hypothesis. So as you can see here, I have an arrow that's pointing where the equal sign is, so therefore the null has P, which is equal to 0 0.5, and therefore this claim is now going to be the alternative hypothesis, which is then P is greater than 0 0.5. Now again, identifying the null, we saw that using the two symbolic expressions, p is greater than 0 0.5 and p is less than or equal to 0 0.5, the alternative hypothesis is the one that does not contain the equality. So one of those two expressions, which is p greater than 0 0.5, does not contain the equality. So we say that the alternative hypothesis is where p is greater than 0 0.5. And then identifying the null, well, the null hypothesis is the symbolic expression that the parameter equals the fixed value being considered. So equals is the important word here. So there's the equality. So now we can identify that the null is P is equal to 0 0.5. And the alternative hypothesis is that P is greater than 0 0.5.